What's up guys, it's Cool Story Bro. And today's video, I will be unboxing my new time capsule. You can see the old one is actually right there where my finger is pointing. And then here is my new one. So this is not a brand new one. I got this off eBay altogether. So 169.99 to 170, which was a good price. I think this one is roughly a two terabyte or one terabyte, but this one is definitely a two terabyte. So I gotta say, first of all, the guy has actually kept the official box. As you can see, the Apple logo is on the side, the beautiful product on the back and tells you what it does. It's got so many ports. So this is awesome how he's actually kept it in the official box. So this is not brand new, this has been used, but I gotta say he's actually kept it really good. So as we open it up, you will see the beautiful time capsule. Look at this, he's actually wrapped it up as well, which is awesome. So that is the actual product itself. So let's actually put that there. This is the adapter to actually power the device up. This is the manual. So if you don't know how to use one of these, you read this book, you'll be knowing how to use and set up your time capsule, which is awesome, right? So I'm gonna show you how to actually set up your time capsule. It's pretty straightforward. So this is my Mac, as you can see right now. So all you have to do is go on your internet icon and then you wanna go all the way down to airport time capsule, as you can see right there. So you double tap and then you bring up this information. So as you can see, my airport time capsule. Now it's saying this airport time capsule was set up with place the Cool Story Bro time capsule. So I don't really wanna do that. All you have to do is not press next. You wanna press options. Now for me, it's gonna be pretty easy because I've already got my network set up. So I'm gonna be pressing add to the existing network. As you can see right there, press next. And then it says, do you wanna to connect to the Cool Story Bro Wi-Fi network? Of course, I'm gonna put the press for that one. And now it's actually connecting to my Cool Story Bro Wi-Fi network, which is my first generation time capsule. So it says looking for my base station. So it's actually looking for my first generation Apple time capsule. So as you can see, it's actually fine, my Cool Story Bro time capsule, and there's my new one, Airport time capsule. And then you can actually change, so this is the, the, the name where it's actually going to be official, is I'm just actually gonna leave that here, and I'm just gonna actually call it Cool Story Bro. So, Cool Story Bro. And then I can actually just leave it. I can actually put number two if I wanted to. I can call it anything, but I really want to call it Cool Story Bro Airport Time Capsule. And then I click Next. So it's looking for my base station. It's actually complete. If you look at your time capsule or airport time capsule, you should see it light green. So the indicator should be green instead of orange. And that's how you do it. So you press Done, of course. And now if you go onto the airport utilities, there is my internet. There is Cool Story Bro Time Capsule, my first generation, and then here is my new one. So if you wanna click on it, and you can go on edit, and then it's base station, then internet, then Wi-Fi, then network, all the information. So say if you was going out there to buy a new iMac or, or a new MacBook model, you can actually back up this Mac. So everything that's on my MacBook, like you know documents, photos, videos, anything, I can actually back it up and you just press this over here and then you can just type your Apple ID and your password and it will back up everything that you want. And then if you want to look at the disk space, of course, you can actually look here, which is, which is here, the data. So two terabytes, as you can see there. So say if you didn't really want the time capsule no more, you wanted to get rid of it, you wanted to sell it on eBay or Amazon, pretty straightforward. What you have to do is press release disk. And then it says here, you can say, you can call it a name, but I'm just gonna call it data. And it says security method. So say if you just wanted a quick release, it's not gonna release, you know, it's not gonna delete everything that you wanted to, a zero one, and then there's a seven pass one, and then there's a 35 pass one. I think the 35 pass one is the whole thing. So if you're gonna delete the whole thing and you've got so many HD movies or any loads of documents, loads of music, loads of photos, it's gonna take quite a while, so just bear that in mind. So that is how you do it. And the good thing I do love about it, if you do love password keychain, you can actually remember this password in the keychain. So sometimes if you forget your password and you're thinking, oh my God, I am locked out of my hard drive. I can't get my photos, can't get my documents, I can't get anything. Don't worry, if you press that password on the keychain, you go into your keychain, you look for your airport time capsule, boom, it's there. If you don't wanna use the network settings, 
of course. So this is my Cool Story Bro Wi-Fi network. If I don't want to use the Time Capsules Wi-Fi base network, I can actually go back to mine. So what I'm going to do right now is find mine. I think mine is here. So mine is VM4873452. So I want to click on this. And then the Wi-Fi will turn off and then we'll say here airport station is not available. It will be pretty soon when it's connected. So what I do is press that. And as you can see, it's all fully connected again on my official Wi-Fi. That is how you set up your time capsule. What does it compare to the first generation? So let's have a look at the first generation to this one. As you can see, look at, look at the size. This one does look like the first generation Apple TV. Love how they've actually put the Chrome logo on the first generation you probably can't see that but there's like a little it's like a little mirror which is awesome but on the new edition of it they've just kept it like kind of like the new apple macbooks and the new macbook pro so you can see there the ports three ethernet ports a usb 2 ethernet port and then of course the power port to actually power this device and now if you turn it around i think we've got roughly the same ports we've got the power port we got the USB port, we got the Ethernet, free Ethernet ports. And I thought this was an Ethernet. It looks like an Ethernet. I'm not quite sure. It's got the same port as the Ethernet. Look unboxing and kind of a comparison between them both. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions,